Tell them, here, take the plan B, put it up your ass, it hits you quicker. Kills the baby quicker. Bing bong. Fuck your life. What's up with it? How you doing? What's good? Fuck you want? It's Christmas coming up. You got a girl? You getting presents? Got mad bitches. Yeah, you wanted them. So what's my present? My dick. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what the fuck? Bam, welcome, welcome, welcome. <coughs> Pull play. Oh, Lord, yeah, this thing got that shit, Kai. Why you come for like that, Kai? Why you, uh, come on, call the city, sell, sell, Kai. Pull play. But, <coughs> shout out to my co-host, Poo Blank. We back again. Another series, something that was more than a podcast and a show. We doing a die black late night comedy show for you people. And it's going to be called the untold and uncensored tales of the hood. Real life shit. We're going to get into real life, untold, uncensored, funny moments of real life hood shit. Real life, I mean like your worst sex moment you ain't never tell nobody. Uh, drug moments, guns, violence, your mama. We're going to get into mad, funny, untold stories. And I'm putting everybody in it. You just gonna have to figure out who, you to- who I'm talking about. We ain't gonna put no name. We might throw nicknames in there. But we gonna get into a lot of motherfucking stories with the bros and sisters from the hood. You just gotta figure it out. So, oh, uh, let's get right into it. About time, this thing is talking too much, Kyle. Right, All right, Bob, pull play. Oh, play. But let's get right into it. So, bro said, I want you to tell a jail story that's funny. And Shorty asked me, uh, let's do a, a story, one of my worst trap sex moments in a hood type shit. So, we're going to do that one. So, what's one of my funniest jail stories? Let's think. Let's think. See, then that is a scripted. What's one of my funniest jail stories? Let me think. I don't know. All right, bam, right? Where my mother get to the point, car? Nigga dragging it. One time I was at St. St. Correctional Facility, right? They got me on A block, all the way in the back. If you ever been to, you know, if you ever been to up north or to the swing, whatever we call it, you know what I'm talking about. But we're not going to shine light onto the whole negative aspect of jet. We're going to use this for you young niggas to know what the fuck is up to. But they, I was next door to this bo- this nigga named Sonny, bro. This nigga was like 250 straight muscle, bro. And this thing used to smell like mad, wet, sweat, and rags and shit. Like, all the nigga used to do was work out in his cell, do push-up, work out. And then I think nigga said on a load, the nigga was fucking with the back, right? So, one day, some, some young boy, I forgot what he was. He was involved in some shit. This is why you young niggas out here with this fake game banging, pay attention. He was with some shit. I don't know what was going on. But his time came, right? So he 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 locked in for a while. He telling me, he like, yeah, bro, I gotta get prepared. I say blah, say blah. He got the he got the he got the strap, which you know, which is a jail uh made knife, whatever the case may be. He got the lock in the sock, he ready to go. Cause he don't know what they doing or who they sending, right? So they wind up sending Sonny. So somehow, long story short, right? They unlock the nigga cell. Son come and press the nigga in the cell. They start dumping. No lie. Next thing you know, I'm in my cell looking, and the nigga, the young boy with the gang shit, is trying to run. Out and path, and you just see the nigga snatch the nigga, the nigga just fly back and disappear. And you hear this nigga just in there massacring this boy. And it was just funny that just moment. I'm sorry for the boy. You feel me? Getting hurt, but 
it was just funny how when he tried to dip and I'm like, this thing got bad weapons and shit. This thing is trying to run past the cell, they get the nigga grabbed the nigga and pulled the nigga back, like looking like some Looney Tune shit. But that's one of the most funny, one of the top funny moments in jail for me for right now, off the top of my head, real quick. We gonna get into more. Yo, bro, that shit was whack, bro. That shit was whack. Yo, bro, that okay. ass, bro. So was then, trash, bro. all right, so. My shorty asked me like, yo, what's one of the worst sex trap moments you had in the hood? One time, right? Back in the day, we used to always stay on Clinton and a bully by the 24 hour store, you know, catch lakes and stuff like that. This was when Sneakies was open, mashing. This is when my hood had a little bit of a good club nightlife, late night area. So, of course, back then, you know, you used to be able to catch your little stragglers and shit like that, right? So we had the, we had the spizzy. That's what we used to call it back then. The abandons, like, when a person move out and you go on to take over their crib, throw parties, whatever, right? So free my son, Tease. So it's me, Tease, bro. Eh. I wind up catching some little straggler like she was running away from uh, St. Anne's or some shit. To pull up to the band up. Like, yo, come on, pull up, whatever the case may be. Long story short, no lie. Shorty took her shoes off. And no lie, bro. I ain't never smelled. I thought the pussy was hit. And it wasn't even a pussy. It was the bitch feet, bro. Like, she must have walked all from Skinnet, Troy, Del Mar slept outside and ain't never changed her socks or something, bro. Word to my mother when a bro came in the room, he like, yo, bro, you a nasty nigga. Why that shit smell like that? I'm like, yo, bro, is that the ugly, bro? He and this bro, Tease was the worst, bro. This thing could just start bombing the bitch, bro. Bombing shorty, bro. Dead ass. You know what's the funny part, man? People go ask in the comments probably or what my shorty asked me, right? She like, did you finish? Come on, what you think, nigga? What you talking about, bitch? We think we for the hug, nigga. What you talking about, bitch? We leave, nigga, finish. We ain't talking about, bitch. You better hit that shit with that. With the, uh, you know what I mean, bitch? Yo, bro, I'm telling you, stay tuned for more. We ain't gonna give you all but This is round one. Round one. Come, come, Fire. To, come to the show, man. Shout out my co host, Pooh Plank, man. Get our podcast and YouTube videos also in our NFT project. We got the Pooh Planks coming out. Real life Pooh Plank. Like, real life NFT. We're going to put the show in NFTs and in the metaverse and all that. Get with us now. Sign up. Go to the website. Subscribe. Check us out. Come join the community. Part one. Uh, untold. Uncensored. Tales from the hub. Stay tuned. For you. Tell me. I did it for the jet.